Hello guys and welcome back again and thanks for watching and this video is all about how to oil a wooden door. Alright so let's talk about a few reasons why you're going to need to oil your door. So firstly oiling a door will protect the grain, it will stop any dirt and wear and tear um, getting into the grain and ruining your door. Um, another reason is you can change the colour of the grain, you can make it look like something else. For example you're making your oak veneer door look like a walnut door. Another reason is that it brings out the beauty of the grain, so as soon as you apply it, you'll see that door just ping. Obviously, your door is a natural product, it's made out of timber, it can move, it can dry out. So what you're going to need to do is protect that and stop it from drying, so oil is perfect for that. Right, so before I start, there are a few other little bits that you need to know why oiling is the way that you need to go. Firstly, oil is very quick to dry. As soon as you put it on and you buffer it off, it's near enough finished. All you need, really, do it properly is a roller, a rag and a brush. I'm going to show you all three techniques and show you the quickest way to oil a door. Right before I start let me just show you a few other finishes that you could use and for you to take into account. This is what I'm actually going to be using. I'm using Osmo so these are all different tones and I'll be using the clear matte finish which is this one the 3062 and it brings out the grain lovely these are colored and this one is completely transparent and won't give you the wet look other finishes are varnishes so they'll give you a hard layer on the top of the wood basically um, it's a bit like a lacquer um, you're going to need a brush or you're going to need a roller to apply this and this one here is a die, so this will go on with a brush or a roller as well. And to be honest, you can use a rag. It's near enough the same as the oil. You wipe it on and then you buffer it off, but it's just a thin layer. It's not really giving your wood any protection like the oil, and it doesn't keep your timber moist. So to start, you're gonna need a roller. Just a small roller will do. You can use a big nine inch roller if you're doing bigger panels, a little throwaway brush, and some lint free cloths. Also a tray for your oil and I'd recommend using some gloves. And this is the door that we're gonna be using. It's an oak veneer door, and it's completely sanded up, ready for sealing. And as you can see, it's got shaker style, so we need to get inside the steps. And if you had a door that has moldings on, again, you're gonna to need to either use your brush or a cloth to get into those little details. So let me show you. So once you've picked the oil that you wanna go for, all you need to do is give it a shake, pour some in a tray, make sure you've dusted off your door completely and make sure it's sound. If there's any chips or if there's any damage to your door, just make sure you sort those out before you start. We've got these little rebates or these little recesses that we need to get in and do the edges with. There's two ways, you can use a cloth or you can use a brush. Tiny bit on your brush and just dab it into the corners. There you go. Get a little stabbing motion in that corner just to get it right in. You've also got these little indents here the stars hit the rail you want to sort of get it into there as well dabbing motion once you've applied it into the corners get your buffering cloth and just give it a good old push into those corners just get all the excess off so that's the first way second way is to actually just use a cloth so get your cloth that you're going to apply the oil with roll it into a little ball dip it into your oil so the more oil you get in this cloth over time as you've used it it'll get easier and easier because it would have been saturated in oil. So again, give it little dabs and just get your finger and just give it a good old push into the corners. There you go, a bit more. See, the more you put on, the more you've got to take off with the buffering cloth. There you go. Get your buffering cloth again. Take off all the excess. Really get into those corners. If you want to roll up a tiny bit and just push it into that corner, that's it. Okay, so they're the two ways of getting into any difficult areas such as little recesses or any moldings, which I'm sure your internal doors have got. So on this face, I'm gonna show you the rag technique where I just apply the whole door, including all the faces with the rag. So just apply it liberally, push it into all these little indents. I see you don't need to go mad. Like I said, the more you put on, the more you've got to take off. And again, put that in the centre. This oil, does, it doesn't really matter if you go across the grain or not. At the end of the day, once it dries and you've buffered it off, it will look exactly the same. I can apply it like this, or circles, or up and down. It's all going to look the same at the end. Make sure you get all your edges. 
There we go, so that's the face done. All I need to do now is buffer that off. So get my buffering cloth. Remember, if you're doing large areas, to change your buffering cloth quite regularly so it doesn't get saturated. If it's full of oil as well, you're not gonna buffer all that excess oil off on your door. And just keep going until you don't feel any more resistance on the cloth. Simple as that. You can't go wrong on this. In a couple of minutes, that would have dried. That would have soaked in completely. And that is one phase done. So I'm gonna use that same technique on the edge. So get your cloth, your applying cloth, get your edge. Make sure you don't get any drips at the moment. Don't put too much on your cloth. And this is what you're gonna to do to your actual internal door. So once you've got the door open, just run your cloth down it. So get your buffering cloth. There you go, done. So just do that to all your edges. Okay, so the third technique I'm gonna show you is with the roller. So firstly, get some on your roller, put plenty on, but then sort of take as much as you can off from the top. Okay, so what we're gonna do is just go over it liberally, and we don't actually want to completely cover it. You'll be surprised how far this goes. And once we've applied it like this, you can see that I've not completely covered it. All you then need to do is get your buffering cloth and just sort of spread it all about. So there's plenty on there. And it will fill up all the remaining unoiled parts. There we go, flip the cloth around, get the drier part of the cloth. Few up and down motions. And it's as simple as that. Nothing else is needed. Job's done. You flip it back over. That face is done too. You can see the colour. It's made it a lot darker and brought up the grain lovely. So all the crowns and all the dark bits of the grain of they, they sort of pop now, they sort of stick out and you can notice all the grain a little bit more. And like I said, this will give your door a new lease of life. So if your door looks a bit old and a bit haggard, apply some oil and it will just come back to life. Okay guys, so let's just recap. To get into any of the recesses or any moldings on your doors, use a brush or your cloth. Whichever way you use, just buffer it off afterwards, you'll be fine. The internal space, you can use a roller if you want, if you've got a big area, apply that area liberally with a bit of oil, with your roller and then just buffer it off straight away. And you can do that on any large area. This one at the back was perfect for the roller. It's just one big area, apply it liberally. Don't coat the whole door because you're putting on too much oil. Buffer it off straight away, job done. This has only been drying for five minutes now and it's completely dry. And remember, you can use this technique with any door in your house, whether it's an internal door, external door, a veneer door. As long as you pick the right product, you're good to go. That is basically all you need to do to all your door. All right, guys, I hope that helped. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Ciao for now.